Here we have an old HSC question from the mid-80s, and we have a mass of 0.1 kilogram attached to a light piece of string, which is 3.5 metres long, and it's swinging around or moving around in a horizontal circle with constant speed. The string makes an angle of 45 degrees to the horizontal, and here we can take G as being 10 meters per second squared. What is the tension in the string, is the first part of this question. Now, if we look at the diagram, we have our mass, which has a downward weight force acting on it. And it also has a tension force acting up through the string. Now, if we do a comparison, the weight force acting down should be the same as the vertical component of the tension. So we could say here that this is equivalent to the weight. What we can then do is we say that the weight is equal to the vertical component of the tension and if we use a bit of trigonometry and I'll just draw a little triangle over here for 45 degrees if this is T along here then the vertical component will be T sine 45 degrees so we can say that weight is equal to T sine 45 degrees. Yeah, we're wanting to get um, tension on its own, so we need to shift the sine 45 to the other side. So what we do is we're going to divide both sides by sine 45. which will cancel that down, which essentially leaves us with the equation I'll change colour here, T is equal to W over sine 45 degrees but the weight is equal to mass times gravity MG over sine 45 Mass is equal to 0 0.1, gravity is equal to 10 over sine 45. And if we plug that into a calculator, we will get the value of 1.41 newtons. And that's the answer to what is the tension in the string. Now for the second part of this question, it's asking us to calculate the speed of the mass. Uh, what we need to do is, again, we look at the tension in this string and the relationships that we have there. So as we did in the previous part, we have a mass component which we've identified as being the vertical component of the tension, which is in the string. Uh, in this case here, because it's travelling in a horizontal circle with constant speed, we need to be looking at the centripetal force, which is going to be the horizontal component of the tension in the string. Now, with this being a 45 degree triangle, if you have an understanding of your 45 degree triangles, you'll be able to find out that both of those sides are of equal length, so weight will actually be equal to the centripetal force in this instance here. So we have the equation centripetal force is equal to mv squared over r but we know that that's, equal to, that's going to be equal to the weight so we have 0 0.1 multiplied by v squared over the radius will be equal to our weight and the weight was equal to 0 0.1 times by 10 which equals 1 
Newton. Now, to find out the radius, we also need to apply a bit of trigonometry. From the information in the first part of the question, we're told that we have a string which is 3.5 metres long. And we need to find out the horizontal component. So this component here will be equal to 3.5 by cos of 45 degrees. With 45 being the angle that it makes with the horizontal. So that's what our radius is equal to. So if I come back to my equation that I have here, I'm going to um, rearrange this a little bit and I'm going to multiply both sides by the radius, which will cancel that down. And that will tell me that we have 0 0.1 v squared is equal to 1 times the radius, which is 1 times 3.5 cos 45 degrees. <coughs> now the next thing we need to do is we divide both sides by 0.1 or multiply both sides by 10 which is the same deal. So v squared will be equal to 3.5 cos 45 over 0 0.1 and that will be equal to, if we plug it into a calculator, 24.7. The next thing that we need to do is shrink the page a little bit so that we can... Oh, I've lost my triangle as well. So I can fit it in. V will now be equal to the square root of 24.7, which is equal to... 4.97 meters per second or we just say that that's equal to 5 round it off to 5 and that's that question done as well now just as a bit of an afterthought one of my students when he attempted the first part of this question, what is the tension in the string, uh, use Pythagoras in his approach, where we had the weight force acting, centripetal, but understanding that this was a 45 degree triangle, that we could actually use the weight component for both sides. So our Pythagoras rule weight squared, which is equal to two weight squared. And from the information we have, weight was equal to zero point one by ten. So that's two by one squared, which is just two. And square rooting both sides, t, therefore t will be equal to the square root of 2, which is equal to 1.4 newtons. So that's an alternative way for you to work out the tension in the bit of string.